Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create and connect to a GP2 simulator. We will connect to the simulator, program it and also start logging and viewing the simulated data. Okay, so here's Delta Link after it's been freshly installed. And um, the first thing we need to do to connect to the simulator is to create a connection. And to do that, we're going to click on the connection details, which brings up a window. And if you just install Delta Link, it will be empty. You might have other connections in here already. Now we're going to click on add to add our connection and let's give it a sensible name, GP2 simulator. And we're going to connect to a simulator. So we'll select the simulator in the drop down over here. And um, under the details tab, we need to select the type of simulator we want. And in this case, it's a GP2 simulator. So if we select that and hit OK, you'll see that it's added a new entry in the the list over here and to actually connect to the logger or the simulated logger in this case you click OK. It will then pop up a little window it looks like this um, which will basically represent the simulated logger and um, at this point in time it's just got a time and date on it and um, it's got a couple of radio buttons which are relevant when you're actually logging. Okay great so now you've created and connected to a simulated GP2 logger and the next thing you're going to want to do is to program that logger to actually simulate something. And there are two ways that you can do that. The first is to go via the program tab over here and update the program that is visible there and then apply that. And the second is to load up a new program in a new program window using the file open and then send that program to the logger. So I'll quickly show you how to do these. <clears throat> so you can click on the program tab the first um, scenario. We click on change. So we're going to change the program and we're going to click on edit and import. So we're going to actually import a program. So for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to use a sample program. So I'm just going to go straight here so it opens the window directly. Bring it into view. We want to import a GP2 multifunction program and let's import the tutorial 6 from the GP2 intro series really tutorial sample program. Click OK on that. Um, open. So it's imported the program. There it is now visible. I'm going to click Apply to apply that and actually upload it to the simulator. So there it is done. If we go click on the Logger tab, you'll notice it's updated the text in the program section of this window. Um, and as indicated, we have actually uploaded the tutorial number six program. Next, you're going to want to start logging, and you're going to do that by clicking Start. So this is where the window just starts changing a little quicker. You'll see the time is moving on in a much accelerated manner. And uh, this is basically going to enable you to create a lot of data very quickly and not have to wait for the time to actually pass for a couple of months. And um, the three the five radio buttons over here allow you to speed it up and slow it down. So on the left would be slow, and on the right would be very accelerated. You can see the days ticking over quite quickly. So we'll stop logging. You can see the uh, data has been filled up right here. And if we go click on the data set tab, it will retrieve the data and you can see we have now generated a lot of simulated data, which is particularly useful when you're trying out a new program, trying to implement a model and trying to see if it will work first before you go anywhere with it. Um, and lastly, I just want to show you how to actually send a program to the simulator, which is the second method I mentioned. We click on File, Open, and we select Program Type Files over here as the file type. And then we load up tutorial number two. You'll see it's popped, popped it up in a new window. So we can minimize it so you can see, resize it. So you can see the whole window, there you go. And now if we want to send this to the logger, we have to do it under the File menu and we click on Send to Logger. It will then pop up the connection dialog. Sometimes it will use the, um, the logger that's already been connected. Um, in this case, it's popped it up and asked us which one we want to use. So we're going to say we're going to send it to the GP2 simulator. And it says um, data set exists. We cannot override it while the data set exists. So we need to go back to the logger tab over here. Delete records. Click OK. And that's just to safeguard your data, really. Go back to the program. Click Send to Logger, select the logger again, click OK, and you'll now see that it's updated the program here uh, to tutorial number two. 
So there you have it, you've uh, created a connection, you've connected to the simulator, you've uploaded the program two different ways, and we've, we've simulated a program and logged a whole bunch of data and we've viewed that. Thank you for your time and please visit our website at www.deltat.co.uk.